I've done it again. I've added another six scale tank to my collection right here. M5 Stewart tank. Let's get it open. Check it out. All right, so first and foremost, I gotta I gotta thank some people. Number one, I gotta thank Big Dub because he tagged me in a post from Jeff at the, that was going to be at the Gwinnett Toy Show, which you've already seen the video for that. And uh, yeah, he had a tank. Uh, so uh, as you saw in the video. Um, actually, you know, I picked it up. That's pretty much the main reason I went down there was number one, the price was great. I mean, literally great. Um, this one here, I've got, I've got my other one, which is basically all, uh, you know, uh, olive drab green, excuse me. This one, I really like jungle fever, but it also has USMC on it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> still in the box. Uh, again, uh, I find funny because it, it actually has a uh, price tag on it that I wish I knew. Um, I wish I wish I knew the date on the price tag right here. Uh, but this is actually a store price tag of one forty nine seventy four. Now I think that's very very interesting. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I need to get it out of the box. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm not going to film getting it out. I'm not worried about keeping the box or anything like that. This thing is just ginormous. So, uh, let me get it out of the box and we'll come back and take a closer look at my new addition to my tank collection. Okay. So I will go ahead and tell you this, uh, when it comes to, this big old thing, um, it takes a while to unbox it. Um, and I know there, this, this, there's going to be some folks out there when I say what I'm getting ready to say, they may be like, wait, what? Um, I literally destroyed the box. I mean, I destroyed it. So, um, yeah, let me get this thing off. And we'll go over some of the stuff that uh, is in this thing. So, um, first and foremost, I actually got a manual. My other one, it had a manual, but it, it's it. This is actually in really good shape. Uh, there's a lot of things in this manual that were not in my manual, so I do like this. Um, Antenna attaching. Okay, so we got the assembly for the machine gun and the antennas and all the other stuff. So this is a very, very complete uh, manual. Uh, there is, a, there is a, a battery in it, and honestly, the battery looks good. I, I doubt this is going to be a good battery, but I'm definitely going to charge it up and, uh, you know, just see see what happens uh, we got our charger right here and we've got of course the radio the radio antenna I was uh, I'm gonna have to do a comparison I doubt very seriously that there's uh, any differences in the radio I am curious to see if the other Stewart radio will work with this one because if it does then I'm just going to put this in a box and save it because it's in really, really good shape. We do got this little attachment in the front, uh, like a hedgerow clear right there. It actually mounts on the front right there. I'm not going to worry about putting that on there right now. Comes with the uh, 30 cal right there, which it actually goes up here, which I'll put that on a little later as well. Got the antenna. Very nice. We have, we have the projectiles. Uh, that's right. This thing actually shoots these things. So <laughs> the ones that came with my other tank, I will say it were a little different. Uh, they were actually wood colored. They weren't this green. 
So I find that interesting. We also have the uh, cable here for the adapter and everything. So that's pretty much all the accessories. Um, so there's two versions of this tank. There's the RC version and there's a static version. Uh, the RC version, um, some of the drawbacks to it is these hatches where the, the, the driver and assistant driver goes, they're, they're solid. So it makes it a little harder to actually put, uh, I mean, you really can't put a figure there. Um, the only way you can do it would be to either try to cut this out, see what's underneath, which I do have plans to do at some point. Um, there's another one of these RC tanks that I'm looking at that's uh, pretty bad shape and I don't really want to tear one of these apart because especially my one over there that works again to try to customize these things um, same with up here we got the two hatches on the top but again the only way I've been able to get a figure to successfully go in here is I bend the knees back and blah 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 uh, they do make some half bodies, which I thought about that. Um, it's actually just taking a half body, uh, and putting in it. But, uh, I mean, look at this thing, the camo on it. I mean, it's just, this thing is amazing. We have the full tool complement on the back right there. Got all of the tools, sledgehammer. Actually, I think this one this one may have a couple of tools on it that my other one don't. Uh, the antenna goes right there. I wish this was a little longer, uh, but that's the uh, the antenna. It just pops in right there. But this thing is, oh man! I mean, these are just great. We got a, a hitch here in the back. Took a trailer to it. Uh, there's a whole world of these things. There's uh, one person that I follow um, actually has an upgrade kit for the rollers and the, and the tracks and everything, which is uh, one of the weak points when it comes to this particular, uh, this model. But I'm digging this, this camouflage jungle fever pattern. This is, this is cool. Uh, I love the fact United States Marine Corps I mean, right there, boom, USMC, that's a, that's a win-win in my book. Uh, to give you a little bit of a breakdown on the controller, so we have uh, the machine gun and turret turning right here, two buttons, and we got missile firing and turret turning over here. Uh, we're going to fire it up because I got I to see if it works, right? I got to see if it works. The, the first thing I'm going to test is to see if the other radio... Uh, I'm going to pull the battery out of the other one, and we're going to put it in here. Then we're going to test out the electronics and see if they're compatible. Uh, the battery apartment goes right here. Got one screw, take it out, and rock and roll. So that's not no uh, big issue. I just got to get a screwdriver and do it. So let me start pulling batteries and come back, and uh, we'll take a closer look at this bad boy. We'll fire it up. We'll see how she does. All right, we got batteries. We got, I've already turned it on, tested things. And uh, so far, everything is good. Um, I did learn something. And again, having a complete instruction book was amazing. Um, so on the back of this one, and I was looking at my other one. And my other one has like an on and an off. This one actually has an A and a B. And what's funny is the controller has A and B on it. And you can run two of these. I still got to look at my other one because like I said, it just has on and off. So evidently this one, you could actually have two of them running off one radio. Not at the same time. But anyway, this thing is so cool. It is so flipping cool. All right, so... Uh, Got the radio on. Let's get this thing fired up. It's going to be noisy because it's got some great sound effects. Here we go. <laughs> fired up. Yes. 
also firing. <laughs> Guys, come on. This is just wicked cool. Um, yeah. It doesn't do it justice here on the table, so I tell you what. Let's get it outside. Let's go have some fun with it, and uh, I'll show you some uh, stuff from out in the yard. done jungle fever yes this thing is wow i'm you know what um i just i mean this is just amazing fun i mean for 12 scale 18 scale 6 scale but when you start getting into this magnitude of a toy, uh, being radio controlled, as you can see, I've got uh, one of my figures in it. Um, and I'm really, really digging the whole World War II thing. And, and like I said, I've got tons of vehicles now. Uh, to have another one of these tanks is amazing. Um, I, I still have a bucket list tank. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Armor Tech, if you watch this video, reach out. Let's let's talk. Um, Armor Tech makes um, uh, metal tanks to scale uh, that are six scale. The thickness of the the metal, everything is is six scale. These things weigh like two hundred pounds. I mean, they're just massive. They cost like a car. So. But to have one of these right here, uh, to be able to pick this up for you know less than a, a, a hot toy, is just a, a mind mind blowing event. So Jeff, thank you so much, and I really do appreciate it. This thing definitely is being used. It's not going to be a, a box warmer. Uh, I'm going to put the put this to some good use. Um, the only negative I have when it comes to these tanks is the barrel. But again, the barrel is designed for this projectile. Um, I, I wish the barrel was a tad bit longer. And, and a lot of the groups that uh, I'm, I'm in that are part, I'm actually part of a Facebook group that is just about these tanks. That seems to be a common thing. Um, but I will be looking more about customizing them. Um, I would like to find a static version of this, not RC. Um, number one, it'll be a lot lighter. Number two, we have functional uh, compartments that you can put figures in, so I could actually, I wouldn't have to do any kind of uh, dremeline or anything like that because I really don't want to. And to get the figure in here, I mean, this works, but again, this, this is how you get him in. You just put him on his knees, but it works. It works out fine, but... 
Guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think about my second M5 Stuart tank. Jungle Fever. United States Marine Corps. Ooh, raw. That's right. That right there. I love that. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, also, if this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure and turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos, when I do live streams, and pretty much everything else related to my channel. Also, click on the more button. Read the descriptions of the videos. I post links. Uh, all my social media is there. If you know of anybody that has any of these, send me a message. Hook me up. Um, again, big shout out to Big Dub. Thanks for tagging me. And Jeff, thank you so much as well. Great meeting you, and uh, this this is awesome. So, but we're done. Hope you enjoyed it. And please always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.